matter, and then looking ahead to opening Love's Field, and then we'll open up the question. Yeah, uh, I thought we played really well at Mary Nutter, and I was, um, we had a long conversation as a team about our approach and things we need to do, and I thought they really did a good job of stepping up, and the pitching staff was very good. We faced some good competition. Mississippi State was really a challenge for us early, um, so I felt like we walked away better, without question. Um, I don't even know what to tell you about Love's Field, because I, it's still a dream, and <laughs> until the first pitch is thrown, is when I will really pinch myself because I walk, I go by it every day. I try to look over and see anything new. Um, I did get down on the ground floor um, when I wasn't supposed to, but I couldn't help it. And it is an absolute wow factor. Empty? I can't even imagine when you get guided senior fans in there what this is going to be like. But I think we all feel a little anxious about it because we just don't know what it's going to play like, what it's going to feel like. Um, we may not know that until the first pitch. We'll start with Chad. Went back and watched the press conference from when you announced Love's Field today. You talked about not know what it's going to be like in, in the coach's box until first pitch, stuff like that. It feels like you're still there. I'm still here. I still but, don't believe But happening. a lot of the uh, things that have become a reality as far as knowing all the specific features that are going to go in it, Sooner Nation's going to be able to see everything as far as the fan side of it. Is there something that as things have come along that's become your, like some of the guts of the state that you're like, I'm most excited to nail down on this once oh, you fully it, get moved in? It's just overwhelming. Everything is just magnify it by a hundred as to the size of the room that we're doing video in, to the training room, to the equipment room. We have our own offices there. I mean, this is brand new things we've never thought we would have. Um, the scoreboard is, <laughs> I remember Joe Castiglio talking to me about this idea of creating, I'm like, oh God, I don't know. And then I saw it, I'm like, this is legit. I, it is just a great, uh, I don't know, it's just, it, it's Oklahoma. It's a state of Oklahoma, as big as you could make it. And it's just a great representation of who we are and who we're representing. So um, the under, you know, the, the girls' amenities, the athletes' amenities are not even done yet, but I think people are, they may not be able to see it, but that's going to be something that's going to really change recruiting. And um, I don't know. I just I'm so excited, but it's still not completely done. So I am still as excited as everybody else. Do, do you know as far as just like the nuts and bolts of preparing to play there? As far as the, these early stages, these first couple weekends, you have to like get dressed here and, and bust so like what is all that going to look like for you guys at game day for the first couple weekends yeah a lot of our staging is going to be here at marita hines um, so our warm-ups will happen here like our hitting at least um, we can use the indoor facility at love's field um, to do our warm-ups and running and things like that but all of our hitting will be here we've got like shuttles moving teams back and forth so that'll be a little bit challenging. Um, they'll dress here, they'll come back and change out of their uniforms here. But it doesn't matter. I mean, we're playing on it, so who cares what we have to do? I mean, we'll walk, we'll do whatever we have to do <laughs> to get on that field this weekend. Jesse, then Bob. Uh, Patty, as, as far as the players, particularly seniors who have you know, spent their career here, have only ever known you know, this field, what do you think this, this week and this weekend is like for them? And, and I know you guys still have games to, to go play, but do you expect them maybe to, to soak it all in or take a minute to just appreciate the, the new stadium and things like that? We're going to make sure we do that. There, there's, I'm not going to let this be chaos and panic and rushing, rushing. We're going to try to take it as slow as we can to take it all in because there's so much to see. There's so much to look at. There's so things that are so new and bigger and better. And um, it's going to take us some time to get used to all of it. 
the sound system. And we have one speaker over here that barely works. <laughs> and so I just want them to hear the sound of what's going to be coming out of these speakers. It's, they're all over the place. And really, truly having a 360 encompassing looking down at us is it's going to be a wow factor. And it might take your breath away for a minute. And I just want to make sure we're all together and we're trying to take this all in together. Yeah. Patty, was there a singular moment when you realized something like this was actually going to happen? <laughs> um, there was a lot of talk about it. There were plans coming out, things like that. And I mean, I. We needed it, and everyone knew we needed it. We just needed the money. Uh, but when I met Jenny Love here, right here in this classroom, she got to meet our team. She kind of talked to our team a little bit about what she does for a living. She wanted to tour around the stadium. We just created a relationship. My husband, Jim Gasso, was very uh, connected with Jenny as well, and um, really entertained her during games. and. Uh, I think the bug kind of got in her ear and she just started cultivating it and I guess they have love family dinners every Sunday where they talk business and OU softball came up and it just started gathering traction and the family was coming out during the World Series and really enjoying who we are as a team but who these athletes are as young women and what they stand for. And it seemed like our uh, core values really aligned with each other. And, and that's when they decided to take us over the edge. But we were getting close because some very generous donors out there were really uh, wanting to see this happen. But the love um, donation or the, the money that they gave took us over the edge to get this started. Jenny and then Eric. Patty, obviously you're opening a building, a, a, a thing, a place, but I'm curious as you get ready to open this, what people are coming to mind for you as you think about opening Love's Field? Mm, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Marina Hines. Uh, um, I'm looking at the wall behind you, I think of the 2000 team. Um, I think of the team that was over at Marie at, or over at Reeves and never got a locker room. And even when we had this built, we didn't have this building. So players were still dressing in the bathrooms or dressing at home and going home in their uniforms. So I think about those athletes that are alums but never got to experience this. And, and so what we're really trying to do is is embrace all of our alumni and say this is, you've all built this. And um, that's really, I mean, there's no one particular person. There's been some amazing performances and, um, you know, Jossie Allo, Lauren Chamberlain, Kehlani Ricketts, I mean, those are the big names of the people you think of, but I want to honor those that came way even before me because this, they played over at Reeves and they got this thing started. So we're really trying to make a good push for our alums and embrace all of them to celebrate this moment. You mentioned Jenny Love earlier. Um, I assume she's at least got a cursory look at things over there. Were you with her? What, what's been her early impressions of things? Well, she purposely wanted to tour with me with her. And um, I don't think she was getting overly excited, but I think she was absolutely wowed by it. She had a lot of questions. She toured her uh, box, you know, her VIP box, her family box, which is nice and big. Uh, walked through underneath where all the players, um, where their eating space is going to be, with their nap room and so forth. So um, to see all of the amenities uh, above and beyond what I think anybody else in America has with her name on it. She, she was extremely impressed and very, very excited about this. Coach, when you 
you talked about the recruiting aspect. What's it been like now that dirt's been moved, stadium's also been done? What's it been like talking to these recruits and telling them this is what awaits you if you choose to come to Oklahoma? Uh, well, a lot of them have been here for camps and they kind of know that it's going on. A lot of kids are coming out here to see it themselves. So I don't say much. Um, a lot of these guys have already committed, so they know what it's looking like. But they're coming out to see it with their own eyes. So I, I can't even describe it to you all. I can't describe it. You, and I really don't know how to describe it because I haven't really been in it. But um, I'll probably have a lot more words for you <laughs> Friday night. And a softball question. Uh, with the young players, how nice is it where you build this program to where those young players don't feel like they have to come in, produce and contribute right away. They're able to go at their own pace. Some of course are going real fast, some are going at a small a slower pace. How nice is it for you to have veteran players and just the way this roster is built, no one has to come in and be a hero right away. That's exactly the words we use, is we, we really can win without any of you. So if you feel like you're carrying us on on your back, you are not. And the freshmen have come in and said, I want to get in this lineup. And they're proving it. They're doing it with their bats. So i um, been really pleased with the balance of, you know, not just all senior laden, um, getting some of these young athletes an opportunity because I need them in the future. So it's been um, a good balance, really great balance. Thank you. G and then Eli. Patty, you guys are obviously moving to your, your dream home, but this is kind of like your childhood home growing up uh, with all these great memories and all the things that happened. Just what what do you feel about this place and what, what, what what's going to become of this place once, once you guys do make the move? Um, well, there's so many memories here that I couldn't even start. I mean, I'm not going to do this here. right now. <laughs> no, no, don't make me look. I'm not going to look out there. <laughs> Um, we've built championships here, so it's, we've had a lot of coaches come in and out, I've watched my sons coach here, so, so 30 years, it's, it's time to move into a mansion. <laughs> we've been living on the east side, it's time to move into a mansion. <laughs> Patty, you mentioned Merida, and in the context of this place versus where you're going to move into, and when this got built, can you contextualize how different of an environment the sport is in nationally in this town and all across the board? I can tell you we go out to Palm Springs, and there are Sooner fans out there, a lot of them, but they're from everywhere, and they're flying in from everywhere, and we need security to get moved around. And when we come in, it's all over talk radio, apparently. It's everywhere, and then everyone's talking about it, which is amazing. I think one of the biggest moments for me of realization that this was big is a guy was telling me that they, he was at Buffalo Wild Wings and turned the station to women's softball. And I'm like, really? You guys watch that? <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, okay. So, I mean, it's moving and it's changing uh, the course of where we're going in a wonderful way. Television viewership is up. Um, I feel we have a big part to do with that. I feel like we've broken some glass ceilings, really. Um, not only with our play, but the, the athletes themselves have really made a difference for young people when I'm out watching and recruiting. I'm seeing someone flying into home plate. I'm seeing people mimic Jada Coleman, Riley Boone, Kenzie Hansen. You would have thought Taylor Swift was out on the field um, out in Palm Springs. The kids are screaming her name and kids are getting up on the shoulders of their dad and trying to read. I mean, it was unbelievable. And I've never seen anything. Every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so it's, but it's not just our team. I know there's other teams that are getting that same kind of feedback and fan support. But um, I do believe that we have been a big part of leading this charge.
I know you've got a lot on your plate to begin with, but I know you were also involved in a lot of the details over at the new ballpark, from wall padding to everything. What did you enjoy most, or what fascinated you most about being involved at that level? There's a lot you need to know. There's a lot that you have to, you have to make a lot of decisions, and I just never want to make the wrong one, so I'm, I'm giving my feedback, but I'm always going to the experts. Like, what do you think? It's, I got to do a lot with the color choices inside, like in their locker room and, you know, in their eating space, in their living area, and um, a lot with pictures. I got to pick out a lot of pictures and things like that. And I think it was just kind of like, you know, you're building your dream home and you're trying to design it and decorate it the way you want. but. Again, I'm not the experts. The experts are, don't, they don't need me. They're doing a phenomenal job. This is, I just really, um, when it's done, I want to make sure you all get to tour through the entire thing so you can really see from top to bottom what this looks like. It, it is first class and it will, without question, be the best facility in the country. Running pretty short on time, Holden and then Amber. Uh, Patty, you've driven to the stadium for so long now. Will it be weird once you know you finally are driving to the other stadium? Like, will you have to remind yourself not to turn in here? <laughs> you guys are hitting my heartstrings. You need to stop doing that right now. Um, it will feel weird. It's not that big of a difference. But yes, I mean, for 30 years, I've taken the same route all the time, and if. We lost a game, I and I change my route. I go back, like I, you know, I do the same thing every day. So it will feel weird, but um, just in an amazing way that we could leave our cars and know that they are secure because there's a gate that's gonna, you know. Well, otherwise, we'd leave them right out here, and we've had robberies and things like that. I mean, there's this benefits that these the team gets beyond just, you know, playing in the, so we're being taken care of tremendously and um, I will feel pretty good making a right turn instead of a left turn this time. And then the players, you know, being so competitive, have you heard any talk about wanted, players wanting to hit the first home run, you know, things no, like stop, that? No, stop, stop, <laughs> stop that. <laughs> no. But I tell you the truth, I did think about it. That would be quite an honor to, but I thought, do you give them the ball or do we keep the ball? We're keeping the ball, I will not give, I'll give a replica to them, <laughs> but I think there's some things that we need to make sure we you know, hold on to. But I think there will be a lot of firsts here in the next couple of months. And Patty, you've touched on it with several of these answers, but when you think about how far this program has come from across the street to here and now to there, what's the most surprising or most mind-blowing part of, of all of that? I guess that we just kept winning. You know, we're playing at Reeves Park. You can't even fit a full team in a dugout. They have to sit in the front row of the bleachers with the fans to watching our team change in these restrooms. I mean, it's just, but no one ever complained. And I think that's what I'll always remember the most, no one complained. They just wanted to play, they just wanted to play. They don't care where they change. They don't, you know, go, let's go over there and pick up trash before we practice. Okay, let's go, you guys got your trash bags, let's go. I mean, no one griped about it. Um, it was the way of the world. You know why? Because we loved to play softball. So I think that mentality in the world has kind of gone away. And I really hope this new team that's coming in specifically next year can really understand what it took to get them in the stadium. And we are, I'm going to tell you what, we are going to keep this thing um, as new and pristine and clean as ever. So I'm not gonna, we're not gonna take this for granted, ever, ever. Appreciate that. Last question for James. Hi James. Yeah, I saw you. Well, it's been fun listening to you talk about all that. But I'm curious, you know, how well did you feel like you pitched at the Mary Nutter and as you get ready to play in this, you got so much going on that you're gonna have opponents and things like that. 
Uh, tell us about who you're playing and what your team's going to be doing. Uh, I think our pitching staff has been our strength thus far. So I'm very comfortable with our pitching staff and what they're doing and tag teaming with each other. So, uh, we got Kirsten Deal through great and wanted to let her keep going. So just what it, what works. Um, Jen Roach has done a really good job with the staff and trying to keep them with innings. Um, who we're playing this weekend, Dot Richardson from Liberty. They're always competitive. I think they're having a little bit of a rough start, but they're always competitive. And I personally wanted her to be here for the opening, so that meant a lot to me that she would do that. Miami of Ohio, we took that trip out there last year. They're returning the trip, and they play hard. They're going to push us. I think their record is 10-2 and two or something, very respectable. And Louisiana um, is always in postseason, always usually in the top 25. They played a very heavy, heavy schedule. And they have some losses, but they, they're close losses. And they almost beat Texas the other day. Um, and Jerry Glasgow is a great coach and does, gets the most out of his players. So you're going to see some extremely competitive softball this weekend. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, 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 this is going to be a long